So before I get started, I thought it would be fair or just to give you an example of what I would call packing a punch with stacking and what I'm talking about and what I'm speaking in regards to. So right here I have an example of uh, some half dollars, right? And um, let's see. So here I have a barber half dollar. And I have a couple of uh, Benjamin Franklins. Now I'm going to turn this half dollar around and let's get a good close up of it. Let's check the rim out. This is a, a barber half dollar, uh, one of the very first barber half dollars I purchased. And I'm going to tell you how much I purchased it for. I picked it up for around $24, okay? Um, these Benjamin Franklin half dollars, I bought this a dollar face value from JM Bullion uh, back, you know, I think I purchased this for about $21 face value for a dollar. So two Benjamin Franklins for 21 bucks and this one for 24. So we'll say, uh, you know, $45 now. Let's look at this uh, Walking Liberty half dollar here. This is a mint condition. And I'll tell you, I paid, you know, somewhere around, I believe it's $55, maybe $60. i am not sure. Somewhere around there, $55 or $60 for this one half dollar. Now, most people would say, you know, that's expensive. That's a lot. That's more. i rather get this than this mint condition uh, walking half a uh, dollar. But you know, for me, this one packs a harder punch in stacking because, um, I mean, for one, if you're, you know, here's some people complain about weight that they don't want to, you know, have, they have a, a issue with storage space in stacking, that it takes up too much space, um, some people don't even like to accumulate airtight tubes because it takes up more space. Uh, they prefer to, you know, use something like this because, you know, it's less space. Um, and I would say if you're really looking for less space, there's one half dollar that is worth more than those three. Now, when you go to sell those three, you're going to get, um, you know, silver spot price for them junk silver maybe below silver spot price you're not going to get silver spot price for this guy it's definitely going to be um you know you're going to get your 50 55 dollars back 60 dollars back and if i wait a few years down the road i might even get more than 60 dollars back for that coin so um that is called uh, stacking carefully forcefully and stacking uh, energetically, in my opinion. So, um, you know, that's just an example of uh, packing a punch. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I just wanna say, stack how you want. I just wanna prove that I do have a method to my madness in stacking this way and share why I stack this way. I'm gonna get into some of these coins that I picked up and share them with you guys. These over here, I'm probably gonna do in another video. These are some uh, Walking Liberty half dollars in a BU condition. Up here I have some 22 BU Morgan Silver dollars. Now, these are some uh, BU condition 1921 Morgan Silver dollars that I just sort of added to my order of Atmex uh, just to kind of take me over the hump of uh, receiving free shipping, okay? So beautiful BU, uh, silver dollars, 1921s. I got them about a week or two ago, so I did go ahead and uh, stick them in some capsules already. I've had these ones, I would say, a little bit, uh, a few days longer than I did some of these other ones here. So um, peace dollars. Right here, um, I have a few peace dollars from Atmex. Now, I have been purchasing my peace dollars from Atmex just because I'm getting into the 
area of a little bit better dates and mint marks that I'm picking up as far as uh, my airtight tube of AUB UP staller goes and my collection uh, working on different uh, mint marks and uh, years goes so I know there's counterfeits out there so I do get a little bit nervous with certain mint marks especially and years I'm kind of you know driving to the direction of the uh, better dates and mint marks so um, I mean, I, I do pick up a lot of stuff from Atmix anyways, but especially this kind of stuff because it just makes me feel a little bit more secure about uh, picking up these uh, peace dollars from a trusted seller. So what I have here is a 1927D peace dollar in AU condition. And... Um, Let's see, what else do I have? I have a 25S in AU condition. So 27D, 25S. And then I have a 26D in AU condition. So 26 and 27D, AU, and 25S. Yeah, 25 SAU. Let's check them out. Let's see what Atmix send me. They do for most of the uh, for most of the part. Uh, send me some nice details in uh, these coins here. You know, some. This is a 27 D, and you know you could see a lot of detail in the hair still, and just you know a nice coin. It's not a mint state or a BU, it's an AU, so, you know, it is what it is, but it's a nicer coin. It does have some really good detail in it, and it does have a little bit of a haze there somewhere. I could see kind of a little haze. It's a little hard to catch in the camera, and it's, it's super bright today outside here in Sicily, so... Maybe I will do, like I said, a video down the road with uh, just my Peace Dollar collection when the sun sets a little bit. And um, this is the 25S. I did kind of view these before I did the video. They do have a cartwheel. They do have luster. The sun is just so bright right now on them. It's a little bit uh, difficult to to catch but that's the 25s and then I have the 26d here which this one I, I mean I'm sure you probably can't see look at that hair it has a lot of detail in the hair this hair area here just beautiful very nice piece dollars. Um, great condition, good detail. You can see the mint mark there, D. And um, yeah, I'm adding these three. That's gonna take me up to 18. I need two more to uh, complete that uh, airtight tube of 20. I have um, 15 back here, three stacks of five. AU, BU condition, different years, different mint marks. Um, adding these three, that'll take me to 18. I need two more. I actually have them ordered. They're on the way. I'm waiting for them in the mail. My mail is, you know, snail mail. So moving right along, I showed you the Morgans and I showed you, you know, my few peace dollars over here. Down here, I have some slabs that, you know, I kind of wanted to share with you. Back here, I have a slab box I've been working on and... You know, I've made some great progress in it, you guys. Uh, I'm halfway, I'm at my halfway point today with uh, these three slabs here. So this uh, box holds 26 and I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So 11... 12, 13, 14. So yeah, halfway. I'm at my halfway point today, adding these three slabs to the box. So um, I mean, 
I'm, I'm knocking these goals out slowly but surely. I have also reached my $100 face value goal in constitutional. Um, just waiting also for a couple things to come in. And, you know, I'll do a video sharing my $100 face value uh, constitutional, uh, my peace dollars, and maybe my slab box here in the future. But uh, let's start here. We have an 1885 PCGS MS64. And these are pristine. I mean, blasting white, great luster, beautiful detail. These uh, slab coins are just really where it's at. It's, it's just a beautiful example of, you know, some Morgan silver dollars. Then I have an 1886 MS64. Again, beautiful, beautiful uh, Morgan silver dollars. These keep their value too. Um, just beautiful, beautiful detail and very clean, you know, very minimal uh, scratches, dings, and uh, dents going on in these. Uh, I do want to uh, say that I am super, super thrilled with this particular slab. Um, I didn't order this gold shield from Atmix, but they just sent it out to me, so that was really, really nice of them. This coin has some sort of, this is a 1880S, so it's an earlier date. It has like this mirror-like background. It's like a mirror. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, she does have a little, you know, a little something there going on in her cheek, but oh my gosh, it doesn't take away from the beauty of the overall coin here. It is very beautiful. I mean, it is nice. Let me compare it to something side by side like this other one here. So, see why I say it's sort of mirror more than this one? That one's kind of more, I mean, maybe it's just me, but, you know, I do love uh, my Morgans, so... There's that, you guys. I wanted to share, um, you know, a couple of these coins here. Let me take this thing off of the, off of the holder there. Sometimes I get some grief from people saying, "Don't you have a stand?" Yes, I do. I just enjoy taking my my phone off the stand and bringing it up like this sometimes for you guys. So um, yeah, there we go. There's some. Um, Peace Dollars, that's my little small stack. I didn't start the Peace Dollar collection too long ago, so I've been making some great progress. There's some uh, quarters back there. That one is my extra Peace Dollar. That's just a double, uh, AU Peace Dollar 1923. I have a BU one for my collection in this stack, so. You know, that's just an extra. I have another extra somewhere laying around here somewhere. A 1925S, it's an extra too. Anyways, you guys, leave me a comment down in the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Bye.